Hi, welcome to How to D&D. My name is Fred Wheeler and today I want to talk about the Loot Generator for Dungeons & Dragons 5e. It's a phone app and you can download it for free. Uh, it's got some advertising in it. It's created by Paul Dante. Um, this is a particular app that I really like and there's some obvious reasons. I could card around the Dungeon Master Guide and use the charts on the Dungeon Master Guide. Uh, it's a heavy book. Or I could grab my phone and have this app and use this instead, which is what I choose to do. So I'm going to talk about this particular app very quickly. It's very simple. There's not a lot involved. Um, and as I said, it doesn't cost you a thing. Uh, it has the option for individual treasure or a hoard. It allows you to actually decide which one you want. You just press it. I want a hoard. Press over here. I want an individual. I press over here. Very simple. Uh, next option. What challenge level is it? Well, 1 to 4, or I can select from the drop-down menu 5 to 10, or 11 to 16, or right at the top, 17 plus. Once I've done that, I can decide how many runs of the uh, treasure I want. So I could have so maybe I want uh, one run, two runs, three runs, depending on the number of maybe encounters that took place or the number of beasts that were involved. I usually select one, but you could select two right up to as high as you like, really. Um, so let's just stick with one. So challenge rating is, or challenge level is 17 plus, and I want one run, and it's for an individual treasure, and I just press the treasure button, and it gives me an outlay of roughly what I would expect to find. So it, in terms of coins, I get uh, 3,000 gold pieces, and 800 platinum pieces. Great. Moving on. So that's one part of it. But there's more to it than just that. It's not just going to give you um, a readout in terms of treasure, in terms of coins and gold and stuff like that. You can go down to lower levels and do the same thing. Uh, lower level, so from 0 to 4, I get just 8 gold pieces are found when they search the creatures or monsters or enemies. Okay. I'll just get rid of that. There are a couple of other options here. Along here you'll notice you see treasure, items and spells. So I can go to items and then select say 0 to 4, one run and I want an item from that. So I get one cleric spell scroll and it stipulates the level which is level 0 uh, which doesn't make an awful lot of sense but it does stipulate that it's sacred flame and it's straight from the tables in the dungeon master guide. So, really helpful. Uh, I can go up a little bit higher, so we go up somewhere to 5 and 10, do another run in terms of an item we would expect, and we find one potion of healing. Uh, that's for a character levels 5 to 10. So really helpful for allowing you to actually build in and have treasure that you can place on the fly, so you don't have to figure out in advance. And this is what I tend to do quite a lot. I could have four runs which means it's going to give me four potions of healing. Sometimes it will break it down and it gives you a whole bunch of different items, such as an amulet of proof against detection and location, an instrument of the bards, and two weapons plus two. So, depending on how many things you want them to find, it might be a consumable, or it might be a permanent magic item. So you just got to decide. And... Hey, if you roll it and you don't like it, you don't have to use it. The other option here is the spell section. So I can go random, or I can select the class that I want. So I could select bard, and the level, I can do it randomly, or I can select the level, I'll go to level 1, and generate a spell. And it gives me a spell uh, that uh, maybe the players find in a, a spell book, or in a scroll of some kind. In this case, it's a scroll. Okay, so I highly recommend the Loot Generator for Dungeons & Dragons 5e. I find it invaluable. It's awesome. Uh, I can't say any more good stuff about it. Um, I wouldn't say it's perfect. Uh, there are times where I feel like the, the low-level treasure stuff really should be uh, more useful to me if I actually had something other than just coins to give out. Um, but, hey... Um, I'll work with what I've got. Um, the, the hoard uh, function, I haven't actually used the hoard function, so 0 to 4, uh, one run, and it gives you what you would expect in a treasure hoard for maybe a dragon or a beholder or whatever it is you want to use. 
and uh, yeah you can you can use all of this or you could take out stuff if you don't like it it's really up to you I'll just go back there we go all right so look if you found this video helpful and informative please share like and subscribe if you haven't already make a comment below if you have any questions about the loot generator for Dungeons and Dragons 5e by Paul Dante I highly recommend this particular app save you a lot of time won't have to carry quite so much stuff around and uh, till next time keep rolling those 20s